England's number one export was young people looking for jobs. Family legend has it that my dad is actually in Canada as a stepping stone to moving to Buffalo, New York. My dad had been a rubber technician for Dunlop Tires in Singapore. There was a Dunlop Tire factory in Tonawanda, just outside of Buffalo. Oh, you have your ice cream? Mm -hmm. I love this ice cream. And hey, presto, I'm a Canuck. I'm British by heritage, American by God's grace, and Canadian by divine intervention. There's no one more English than an Englishman who no longer lives in England. Can you open this for me, Mom? class Liverpoolian father never got over missing England. When he arrived in Canada, the Canadian immigration official said, the problem with you Mom, lying yeah. is that you come over here and think you can change this country. You can't change Canada. Yeah. Canada will change you. In fact, Canada never did change my dad. It didn't even make a dent. Our apartment in Toronto looked like a set from the long-running English soap opera Coronation Street. Weird wallpaper, Liverpool knickknacks, okay. ceramic penguin on the TV. Paintings of Spaniards whose eyes followed you around the room. Miniaturized brass and leather bridal bits. And many portraits of Her Majesty the Queen. Are you going to get a cone or a dish? My parents never uh, missed I'll one get a of dish. the Queen's speeches on Christmas Day. It's easier. And I'll My get dad, like one scoop of it. ever loyal to Britain, loved Prime Minister John Diefenbaker because I like he so much the chief inside. wanted to keep the original Canadian flag, known as the Red Ensign, okay. that had the Union Jack in the upper left canton. My dad was so English that he even held a grudge against the Hawaiian people. Because in 1779, the Hawaiian natives killed the English explorer, Captain James Cook. My dad would seethe as if it had happened yesterday and not some 200 years earlier. The bloody Hawaiians murdered him, mate, in his sleep. As though murdering somebody in their sleep compounds the severity of the crime and casts extra aspersions on a murderer's character. In his bloody sleep, mate. Murdered! We couldn't have pineapples in the house. Get that bloody pineapple out of here, bloody Hawaiians, for poorly eating, grass skirt wearing, outrigger canoe making murderers. My parents made no concessions to the fact that they were now living in Canada. They continued to use Englishisms, often getting incensed when Canadians didn't understand what a flannel is. It's a face cloth. What a lift is. It's an elevator. Or what a lorry is. It's a truck. My mom insisted on calling the Toronto Maple Leafs the Toronto Maple Leaves, as if Canadians didn't realize the grammatical mistake, and as if my mother's constant correction would make them finally see the error of their ways. They were the Canadians. My brothers and I often had to point out that they were us. 